Let's talk about Instagram, guys, and how to clear cache on Instagram using your iPhone. And it's a bit more, uh, I mean, it's not as simple or it doesn't work the same simple way as on Android, but there are some things you can do on an iPhone as well. The first thing I want you to do is go to your Instagram app, then click on your profile icon. You can follow me here for news and stuff if you want to. Anyways, click on the hamburger menu at the top of the page and click on settings. So I'm gonna lower the brightness a bit anyways, you have the search bar at the top. You can also go through the pages, but so click on a search. So click on recent searches. That's this. So once you come here to the recent searches, I want you to clear all of them. This is like unnecessary data that Instagram stores and you don't really need that. It could potentially speed up your iPhone and Instagram experience in a general. So click on um, clear all you can see you won't be able to undo this if you clear your search history you may still see accounts you've searched for in uh, the suggested results anyways you cl clear all and you deleted some kind of data so the second thing I want you to do is come back to the iPhone and go to these settings of the iPhone not Instagram settings and now I want you to go here in the settings to go to the general section and click on as iPhone storage. So here's iPhone storage and you perhaps may uh, wait a bit until everything just loads up and everything just uh, comes in here. So you need to scroll down to find Instagram. For me, Instagram is taking up 300 megabytes, which is a lot for an Instagram app, which means that this app, uh, when you download it from the app store, it is supposed to be only like, as you can see, 200 megabytes depending on the iPhone, but you can see documents and data take up 70 megabytes. And I don't know what exactly there is, but usually with Instagram, it's not really that useful. So if you want, so you can offload the app, which is gonna delete all the stored files within the Instagram app. I know it's not the cache or anything, but it's just gonna make or just save up and speed up the Instagram a bit more and like refresh it. So click on offload the uh, uh, app and everything, all of the documents and data is just gonna be removed. So it's just gonna be uh, a lot better. So when you offload the app and come back to your Instagram, you have to like reinstall it again. So it just like stays on your uh, home screen. You technically have it, but it doesn't have any data because you offloaded it. And now when you like reinstall it, then uh, this is what happens. You're gonna have to wait a bit until it just like loads up and installs once again on your iPhone. So once you open up the app, you are pretty much good to go. You don't have to do uh, anything. You, you have like a clear page. You could see that it took a while to like restart everything so uh, this is like one way to go about it and of course the other last resort is to simply hold down on the app to activate the toggles and remove the app not only from the home screen but delete the app altogether and then install it once again from the app store it's just gonna like reinstall it of course and this is like the most fail proof way to clear the cache of any app on your iphone on the androids it's a bit more simple however because you can go to to the settings and there is like literally a clear cache icon and like a button you can click on and it just does all the stuff but on the iphone it's a bit more closed off as you know so it's a bit more complicated anyways thanks a lot for watching subscribe to fox tech for more tutorials and check out the next video right here thanks a lot for watching see you guys later